Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is Minister Paul, the watchman on the wall in Northern California. It's very important that the watchmen and messengers and watchwomen continue to warn. Because a, a lot of times you can come to an end where you feel like you're not hearing anymore, you're not getting any more warnings. But, you know, your job is never over until God tells you so. The only retirement watchmen have and messengers have and watch women have is Jesus taking them home. I mean, that, that's it. So the Holy Spirit brought this uh, prophetic uh, message to my memory. The date was February 24th, 2019. And so this was about some particular areas in Bible scriptures. One of them was about a vision and dream and a meteor, a wormwood, Gibeon, they were slaughtered. And the other one was about a battle of, I think it was Zamora, let me check. Battle of Trafagular. Battle of Trafagular. So, oh man, I never wanted to say that word ever again. Let me, let me see if I can get this. Trafalgar. Trafalgar. Am I saying that right? Trafalgar? Please don't give me no heat on that. Trafalgar. I'm just going to say it like it looks. I say now, this this warning in, in February, no less, was time shifts, war portals opening, and gigantic hell coming. Now, let's go to the news. I'll show you a couple of things. Freak hell storm strikes Mexican city of Guadalajara. I know how to say that one. Look at this hail is two to three meters or yards deep. Three yards deep. This is hail. And they're saying it just doesn't do this in Guadalajara. It's a hot region. This is a freak hail storm. And I've seen hail in other places. And so I know this is a fulfillment of prophecy, and it's also in the whole street is three deep, three millimeters deep of hail. In the Bible, it says there'd come great hail. And there was another thing concerning war I want to show you. But just take a second here. It's concerning Iran. Everybody see this? That Trump has asked for military tanks on the mall as part of the grandiose July 4th event. Military tanks on the 4th of July at Washington. So this one right here. Oh, so that they have confirmed it's a missile in uh, Cyprus. I was hoping I'd just catch something on this. Russian made missile. So I believe this is going to be an S-200 or S-300. Russian made missile explodes into fireball in Cyprus near capital city. There was three massive explosions. There's a picture. Let's see if they uh, say what type of missile it was. So let, it was reported as a UFO. Let me tell you something about this and what I've learned of this overnight. There's there's a you know the country in the nation Turkey with Erdogan running Turkey just north of Israel. Very very bi biblical. Very very biblical country. Uh, there's some pictures of it here down on the right if you want to check it. I heard that he came out and said that if this involves any of this nonsense in the Middle East war, he's going to take swift and decisive action. This, so in Cyprus, there's, there's Turkish side to it that is uh, <clears throat> occupied by people from Turkey. Now, this is really, really huge news. It's being played down in the media. So they're saying it was a S-200. So it was shot by Syria, given to them by Russia, was headed for Israel, and landed in a Turkish-occupied area of Cyprus. This is huge. Uh, this is really being downplayed. I mean, I'm surprised it's way over here, but... This is the this the article I wanted to find, and it happened to just be right next to it. 
So this is saying that Iran has just broken the nuclear agreement. <clears throat> so this should get everybody paused. Iran violates nuclear deal and has exceeded, exceeded 300 kilogram limit on enriched uranium. So it looks like their Iran was prohibited for accumulating more than 300 kilograms of enriched uranium to the level of approximately 3.7. <laughs> I should laugh, you know, but how, you, you know, you have to laugh at some of this stuff or you'll go cray cray. So uh, this is where we're at right now. So this is prophecy fulfilled. I, I expect we're going to see a, a lot more. So. Basically, what you can do is you can go to Matthew. You can go to Matthew 24. I'll put links to this in the description box. You can go to Matthew 24, and you can go to the book of the Revelation. You can go to Luke 21, and we're though all of those signs of the end of days and the return of Christ are literally happening now. They're hap all of them. They're all happening. And remember, there's seals and there's vials and there's trumpets. We're we're there. Um, thank you for the patent, uh, Patreon support. Let me show you that real quick. We have eight Patreons now, so I'm going to put a link to this. And then I'll end the video. I'm going to do Acts 13 today. So here's our Patreon. We have eight Patreons right here. So what you do is uh, there, I'll put a link to this in every video I make. When you come here, you become a patron. Uh, let me know if you have any ideas for this Patreon. Because this is going to be how we how we support this ministry right here. Thank you. God bless you. Keep your eyes open and be vigilant and aware and keep your armor on and understand you're in a battle as I pray for everybody on this channel. In Jesus' name, amen.